So welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're taking a look at a very special product that has so many features, it's gonna be hard to cover in one video. Now this doubles up as a video recorder, a game capture, camera monitor, a DVR recorder. You can do live commentary on this, you can live stream. And uh, the best thing about this is that it is portable or you can use it in your home in a permanent setup. So today we're taking a look at the Cloner Alliance View Pro. This is a 1080p 60 frames per second HDMI video recorder. So the cool thing about this is that no TV is required but you can hook it up to an external monitor as well. Couple use cases, if you're a videographer or YouTuber and you just want a monitor, you can use it as that. If you're on the go and you wanna bring your fire stick, plug it into the top, you do have a portable screen there with you as well. If you wanna record your TV shows, your games, you can plug it in, record, it will go to either your SD card or USB drive. So really, Cloner Alliance thought about everything when putting out this product. So this video, we're gonna unbox it, test it out, get into some of the best features features of this device. And before we do, big shout out to Cloner Alliance for sponsoring this video. And of course, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So Cloner Alliance knows how to make a first impression. This is a magnificent looking carrying case. We'll get into it here in a little bit. Next, we're gonna have a quick start guide. This is gonna basically tell you everything you need to get started. So it's gonna have uh, the inputs, the power button, some of the basics, what kind of batteries it use, what the different connections are. So definitely uh, read through, see what's in there and see what you're gonna be using. So next we're gonna have another sheet just um, with a QR code. So if you have any issues or you get a specific error, you can always reach out and they should be able to help you. So next in the box, we're gonna have a micro USB. This is gonna be to connect to your PC. We're gonna have a standard HDMI cable. Of course, uh, we have a power supply. You can see some of the wattage information right there. And this is a universal plug, which means that you will need to go ahead and screw it on and it will ship it based on your region. Now next we have RCA and VGA that goes to HDMI. So this will be for your analog connections. And we have a tripod. This tripod was uh, kind of unique. I haven't seen one like this. So I was struggling there for a bit to get it uh, open. But once I did, I kind of see what they did there. It's basically a stand for your device. Uh, it is all plastic, lightweight, and it does fold up, which I do like. We also have the remote control and the remote control is gonna have all the functions that you'll need. And, and you do have that same control on the device itself. So you have your power, you have your delete, playback, home, your navigation, of course, you have a back button, you can change the input. And we'll go over some of those functions here in a little bit. Now over to the main device. And like I said, they know how to make an impression with the orange on the gray or the black. It looks amazing. And they do have a separate pouch in there. So you can put your device in one and have some accessories in the other pouch. Now the device did come with a screen protector. We'll peel it off in a little bit, but you can see it does have a lot of buttons on here and this control everything. At the bottom, you're gonna have your navigation. Uh, you can see you have your left, right, up, down. Above that, you have USB, SD, and PC, and this is based on how you connect it or how you record it. Above that, you have your delete, your home, your back button. You also have your information button, your playback, record to start and stop record, your screenshot button, your aspect ratio, and then you do have the source, which you can switch from. Now on the top of the device, you're gonna have your, your power plug, your USB, your HDMI out. You also have your VGA audio in, your main in, and your MMI in, which is for your VGA. You also have your LCD off and your main power on and off. Now on the opposite side, you have your storage option. So you have a micro SD slot or USB. You also have a quarter 20 where you can screw it into any mount. You have a line in a mic in and a line out. And next to that, you do have your IR receiver. On the back of the device, you do have a battery and you can use a battery to power this device as well. Um, if you're in a uh, photography, videography, you probably have one of these batteries laying around as I do here. Uh, they do come in different sizes. I think it was originally a Sony battery, but a lot of devices like this, maybe even lights, will use this battery for power. So I, I thought that was a uh, pretty cool. Now you have that portability factor. To release it, all you need to do is press the button and pull to the left. Now this is another battery slot, guys. And again, I happen to have one of these batteries laying around because I 
have a lot of stuff laying around, it seemed like. So this is one of those flat batteries. It is the CR2032. You can get them at Walgreens, most of your local stores. This is very important, guys, because when you use this battery, when you install this battery, it, uh, it prevents your device from losing the time. And so if you're someone who's uh, scheduling events, you don't wanna have to set the time and date on the device every time. You can go ahead and just insert one of these. Any time will be set. As far as installing the tripod, again, really easy, quarter 20 on the bottom. Put it in there. It isn't gonna be super sturdy because it's not metal, but it does work if you're just looking for a basic stand for your device. So it's very cool that they included this in the box. So as I mentioned, two ways to, to power this up. Uh, we do have the battery option and we do have the um, power adapter that actually came with. Now the battery uh, is gonna be pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and slide it in. And you'll know you're on battery because you will see the battery percentage right there. Everything should work normally. I do notice that the battery goes fast. So um, in my case, it's probably a better option to use the, the power adapter that it came with. Um, but if you're in a pinch, and this is all that you have, uh, this will work. Or if you're on the go, uh, this will work. Just bring a couple with you. So once you plug it in, it will go ahead and uh, power up. Uh, you can turn it off with this button up top. It will just go ahead and shut it down as well. Let's go ahead and power it back up. All right, so nice animation, nice startup. You can see up there, the buttons light up and um, it will go through, tells you what input you're in. In this case, it is HDMI and you can go ahead and you can switch the inputs using the source. So next one, you can see it went to VGA. So VGA is gonna be the second HDMI connection, guys. And how that works, as I showed you in the intro, is that they sent you an adapter right here. And this adapter, on this end, you have the VGA. So if you have an older connection, this will work. They also have the RCA, so if you have those, you can go ahead and plug it up. And whichever one you use, it goes to the HDMI. And if you're using this cable, you're gonna use this HDMI right here, where it says uh, MMI IN. So keep that in mind. Uh, for everything else that's digital, you will use the normal HDMI connector. So first thing you should probably do, and what I would recommend doing, is as soon as you get it powered up, guys, decide which one of these storage options you're gonna use. So you have two options, USB or SD card, if you're not connected to the PC. So go ahead and plug it in. And when you plug it in, guys, you see that this LED came on. I'm um, just letting you know that you do have a USB, it is detected, and that's gonna be the source where your videos will be recorded. I'll probably use a lot of the remote functions just to make it easier, but you do have the same options. You can see we have the HDMI, we have RCA, we have the AV as well. So all you have to do is just click this guy right here. You can see it's switching, all right? Um, and you do have the option to do everything that you would on the unit, guys. Like I said, you can take a screenshot here, maybe in gameplay. Uh, you have the back button, you have the volume up and down. You also have the recording um, levels that you can adjust and we'll get into that here right now. So let's go into the menus first to get into the menu, press your home. So in the settings, you can show the time, you have the resolution. The max resolution is gonna be 1080p, but it does take a 4K input. So if you have a 4K unit, like a 4K Fire Stick or something, it will still take it, but when you record, it will be in 1080p. You have your bit rate, uh, your loop recording, you can show record, so essentially it shows you in the top right that it is recording, I think that's a good feature to have on. You have watermark, which you can turn on and off, and you have the system time. Now, this is what I was talking about with the little round battery in the back. If you don't have that battery in, every time you disconnect power, you are gonna lose the time. So definitely recommend getting that. So next is gonna be your image settings. So you have your brightness control, saturation, your backlight. You also have the option to change the language and you do have your version listed at the bottom. So next we are gonna have our uh, volume. So this is our HDMI volume. This is gonna be the HDMI audio coming in. Definitely recommend adjusting that or playing with it before you start recording, because it can be kind of muffled. You have your mic volume. So your mic is gonna be this mic input right here. And I'll, I'll plug in the mic here in a little bit just so you can hear how it sounds. You have your mic volume, your line volume, your speaker volume. It does have a built-in speaker as well. And the last menu is gonna be your schedule recording. So you can turn it off. You do get up to five 
program to schedule. So first you need to turn it on. It asks you if you want to schedule it once or multiple times. You can set your different intervals. So, so you can go once or every day basically. Below that you set your start date, start time, and your end date and end time for each program. And that's pretty self-explanatory. So two things to keep in mind is that if the system is off, it will not wake it up to record. So the system needs to be on. Also, this will not record DACP protected content. So keep that in mind as well, guys. But with that being said, you do have the option to shut off the LCD. The system will still be on and running. Uh, if you have something scheduled, just kind of turn that off and it will still record. And that's the, the workaround basically. So I got the Fire Stick connected and uh, this is in the, the first HMI as you can see there. Um, no issues there. And let me just go ahead and we'll start recording now and I'll do some of the playback a little bit later. So we're just gonna hit the record button. You can see right here, uh, it is counting in the top. And uh, also it is blinking, just letting you know that it is recording from a USB source. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll check it out guys. Um, this is the Fire Stick remote of course, um, but if you wanted to turn up the volume there, you can go ahead and um, use the, the main remote to turn up the volume and so on and so forth. So let me just go ahead and we'll turn it up. And let's go to YouTube and see if we can find anything. So that is going, and let me go ahead and we'll just turn this up here. We'll turn up the main volume. Alright, so imagine that. Let me turn it down a little bit. <laughs> so volume on this works. It works really well, and um, it does have the option where you can set it to uh, four three or uh, sixty nine. Obviously, sixty nine is going to look better. On this system but um, just let you guys know it is recording everything I say and um, the cool thing about this is if you're a gamer or something and you want to go ahead and do some live commentary you can go ahead and plug in a microphone and let's go ahead and we'll test that out so microphone is plugged in and the cool thing about this is that you do have the mic volume here as well and um, you can go ahead and adjust it how you want so let me go ahead and turn it up a little bit I'll put it about 15 and I'll just let it run for a little bit so this is pretty awesome guys so imagine either this being on the road or to a hotel room or something maybe you don't have a monitor you can play with I uh, do have a lot of flexibility just with this little unit right here so let me go ahead I'm gonna take a couple screenshots just hit the camera button there All right. and every time I press it guys I don't know if you can see it every time I press it there's a camera icon that shows up there let me do it again all right, there it goes. All right, so got a couple of screenshots. Uh, also, if you hit the info button on the remote, it will bring up everything, your recorded settings, your date, your bit rate, also shows your, your USB capacity up top. Yes, all of that is great and dandy, but what if you wanted to connect this to a larger screen? Can you do that? Absolutely, yes you can. Let's go ahead and get that set up. All right, so immediately the screen is gonna go blank and um, it should kind of pick up to that second monitor and you can see it right there. So another cool thing is that it shows everything that you would see on the unit. You still have control. So, so if you wanted to adjust the volume, you still have those menus there. Let's hit, wanted to hit the info, it will show everything there. Um, you do have main controls. You can still take your snapshots. You can play with your aspect ratio again. So everything is pretty laid out and the last thing I really wanted to test just to see how well this actually works is just the, the latency. So let's, let me go ahead and we'll do a couple clicks and see how long it takes to react. So no latency and that's a good sign because imagine that if you're gaming on this guy and you have it hooked up to external monitor, you're recording, 
you can absolutely game, make your live commentary, and you're still not gonna experience any latency there. So like I said, this is a very flexible product. Uh, right here, you can see that I got it hooked up to my camera. So if you're a photographer, videographer, a YouTuber, you can use this as a monitor for your camera, guys. So the cool thing about this is that I was able to get a quarter 20 on the bottom and I kind of hooked that up to my rig. And with this screen, now I have a bigger display to actually preview what I'm recording. So uh, I do have the flexibility to flip it to the front or flip it to the rear, depending what I'm trying to film. If I'm trying to do a selfie or a vlog style recording, I do have that option. Or I can flip it around to view a bigger screen of what I'm recording. So definitely uh, impressed with the use as well as the flexibility of the Clona Alliance View Pro. Uh, also, I did test it out on some gaming. I, I booted up Call of Duty, of course, and I was able to get Madden up and running as well. And what makes this awesome is that I don't have the input lag that you do get on normal capture cards. So I was able to connect directly. Of course, the screen is going to go blank, but then I have the bigger screen to work with. I was able to play the game. While playing the game, I did plug in my microphone, so I did have commentary going at the same time. And also the recording came out pretty good and you can see a sample right there uh vivid pictures looks great and i, I think uh it did a good job just capturing the gameplay so also clone alliance has a couple cool pieces of software that's available to you once you register your device so today we're going to be taking a look at the clone alliance helper and this software is awesome so launching the cloner helper and i do have the view pro connected to my computer via the micro usb port that's on the top so essentially right now i'm using this as a video capture card and i do have my fire stick connected so let me go ahead and hit home so you notice up top you have a record and a live option we'll get to the live option here in a little bit but on the record you can see I do have the video capture source so I hit the drop down and it'll tell you what devices are connected but for this I am using the cloner lines and I do get to select the audio that I want to record from uh, below that you do have your schedule so if I hit the drop down here you can see no schedule has been set but if you hit right here in schedule you can go ahead and start adding your schedules so we can set the record duration as well as the start time so for instance if I set it for two hours and start times at eight o'clock is going to end at 10. We also have the option to repeat once every day, every week or every month. Below that we have the record button. So if I wanted to start recording, I just hit this. So it gives you a nice timer. You can go in and set your record time again, automatically stop when the duration is over. So let me go ahead and stop that. Below that we have our folder and this is where all of the recordings are going to go to. So if I hit this right here you can see I have everything that's recorded and right now select all what I can go through select video or select images and I, I do have some sorting options as well it does have an image capture as well as I use the example if you're gaming you want to take a screenshot of a score or something you just go ahead and hit it, it takes the picture now if I go back to my folder you see the picture is right there uh, another cool thing is that it does have the gif option so it starts counting down so if I wanted to select a gif i can start it stop it so that was five seconds so if i go back to my folder select this it will go ahead and play the gif so how cool is that so let me get out of this you do have a video broadcast and share right there and settings is going to cover everything your previews your general your recording options so right here it goes into your your frames per second bit rate format same thing with the image you're going to be able to select PNG, JPG, you have the, the GIF size as well. You do have the live options that you can go ahead and set up. Live files are gonna be there and right here you get to manage your server. This is where you're gonna put in your, your YouTube stream key, your address, URL, and so on and so forth. And then you can go ahead and start the live uh, within the software. Same thing for VBS is gonna um, give you the option as far as your, your resolution. So the max there is going to be 1080p uh, frames per second, as well as your bit rate. Uh, everything as far as your settings is going to be in that area. And uh, once everything's set up, if you want to go live, you click here. It should automatically um, see your, your servers right there. You do have scene options as well. You can go ahead and start your live. So like I said, a lot of options built into the software. And 
it goes well with what we're trying to do with the cloner lines so let's go ahead and talk about the price so the price of this is 278 dollars and that might seem a lot but for what you get and i think it's a very good deal so you are getting not only a video capture card for your pc you're getting a portable media player uh, you also get a portable recorder a camera monitor so if you're a vlogger youtuber photographer you have that monitor there you also have a, a basic screen that you can plug any hdmi device into whether it's a pc a gaming system um, you can mirror your phone on here which i've done before and you do have the option to plug in your microphone that way you can make commentary over your video so you're getting a lot for that price in my opinion so again shout out to clone alliance for sponsoring this video i will be leaving a link in the description where you can go ahead and pick it up if you have any questions about this drop it in the comments as always if you're new to the channel hit a subscribe button smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one